Fast and Furious movies, a tradition in which every two years a movie theater parking lot gets to look like this. Let's do it. Fast Five. So admittedly, I've only seen the first Fast and the Furious movie. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, it's like Point Break with cars. If you haven't seen Point Break yet, see it and you'll know. So in Fast Five, this drug lord in Rio de Janeiro pretty much runs the place, which is a totally different side of Rio that they show in this movie. And Rio is like, oh, nice and fun and hang gliding and colors. In Fast Five, it's like crime and drugs and machine guns. Yeah, I don't want to go there anymore. And so Vin Diesel and Paul Walker are like, all right, in order to take that guy down, we're going to take his money. So they get the entire crew together, which I recognize a lot of people from the other Fast and Furious trailers. And after that, it's like Ocean's Eleven with cars. There is one crew member. I don't recognize her from any of the trailers, but oh my God. This chick is perfect. She is hot. I'm being dead serious with you guys. All right, you know, all the girls that I've said are hot and they're like my wives and whatnot, like Natalie Portman, Anne Hathaway, and I'm pretty sure there was one other chick. No, no, this is a chick right here. This chick is perfect. Every time she's on screen, the dialogue just becomes, all right, we're gonna go. Oh my God. Thanks God for making that chick. Back to the plot. So it's pretty much that. They're gonna steal this crime boss's money. All the while, Dwayne the Rock Johnson is on their trail. He's like the FBI agent who's after Paul Walker and Vin Diesel. At first, when you see Dwayne Johnson stroll up on the scene, he's all hardcore and he's just shouting out all the one-liners. You're like, look at this guy trying to be Tommy Lee Jones and the fugitive. Then you're like, all right, he's pretty cool. And then you're like, holy shit, I wouldn't want to cross that guy ever. This guy's hardcore. He's like Armageddon. Yeah, he, the person, is Armageddon. There's a scene where he and Vin Diesel are fighting. It reminded me of like Godzilla versus versus pick a random humongous monster. It was pretty awesome. They're like going through walls and shit. That's what I'm talking about. Now in the start of this movie, the first like 20 minutes to half an hour, I was like, all right, I'm kind of bored. Then after that, it really kicks on. They bring the crew together and they're like doing test runs for their, you know, Italian job or Rio job. And it starts getting cool. Then everything comes to a head and there's this hardcore chase scene, which is, oh my gosh, badass awesome. Which I like that it didn't concentrate on the street races and all that. It was a heist movie. The end of the movie was like the freeway scene in Bad Boys 2, but like a lot longer with two cars carrying pretty much a big wrecking ball. Yeah, shit got destroyed and Jeremy smiled a lot and now talks in the third person, I guess. I mean, Paul Walker's still like Keanu Reeves with a tan and Vin Diesel still talks like he has his whole fist in his mouth. But all in all, I found the movie surprisingly enjoyable. Then again, maybe all Fast and Furious movies are this enjoyable, but I was just really surprised I liked this movie or at least found it fun. Some scenes defy logic, others defy physics. Logic being when you're trying to maintain a low profile, don't street race. Like I said, it doesn't concentrate on the street racing, but they street race in really high profile cars. While they're on these little intercoms that the cars have, they're like, all right, after we do this job, I'm gonna take you, I'll bet you a million dollars we all beat you. Daniel Ocean would not put up with that shit. He would slap you all in the head, then slap himself in the head for doing Ocean's 12. If you like the Fast and the Furious movies, this is like your holy grail. This is like your passion of the Christ of Fast and Furious movies. So you would give Fast Five Awesome Tacular. I'm not gonna buy the movie on Blu-ray, but I was surprised at how cool I found it. So I will say it's a good time, no alcohol required. If I had to pay full price for this movie, I'd walk out of they're going, eh, it's pretty cool. I'm not a grease monkey. I'm not a car head. I'm not. I drive a Saturn. That's right, ladies. I am that cool. But if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.